models that you create in SketchUp can be dimensioned directly in layout. With the dimension tool, simply click on two points of your model to pull away a dimension string. You can dimension elements of the model and you can also dimension elements in the paper space that you create directly in layout. For more control over the dimensions you've created, access the Dimension Style dialog box. Let's select several of these dimensions. Now we can toggle the format, change it to Engineering Architectural Decimal. You can also change the units of measure. You can change the precision and also change how the dimension styles will read, whether the text be above, centered, or below the dimension line. Let's create a dimension that's at an angle. This will help to show that you can also toggle the dimension text to be vertical, horizontal, or aligned with the dimension string. Keep in mind that in layout, you have a grid that you can toggle on and off and that you can snap to as well. You probably want to have your grid snap off when you're dimensioning SketchUp models. However, your object snap does need to be on. If object snap is off, it won't allow you to reference the many points in your model. You can toggle object and grid snap on and off by right or context clicking a blank area of your screen. You can also reference other layout entities. To create quick dimension strings, try this. Create one dimension and double click on the next point. By default, if your SketchUp model has a scale set, then your dimensions will also be at that scale. If, however, you are drawing your own elements in layout, you do have the option to set your own scale. Dimensions you create and reference to SketchUp models are tied to that model. Keep this in mind if you move and especially if you rotate the model. You can see that the dimension string still reference the points as needed and you may need to readjust your dimension strings. To adjust dimension strings, Double click on it. This will allow you to change the height of the dimension string, what the dimension is referencing, or if you hold the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC, you can change the actual direction of the dimension string. For example, I could line it up with the armchair and then pull it away. If I double click again, I can also adjust where the text will read, moving it out of the way completely. If you would like to override the text, simply double click in the text field and enter your own text. To reset the text, delete any text that you've created. Finally, Dimensions are like any other entity in layout. So you can change things like the stroke color or size, change the arrow points and size for the start and end. You can also change the color and text.
As with other entities in layout, once you've created a unique style, you can sample that style and apply it to other dimensions or elements as well.